Welcome to a new video from Jitbag Composer Playlist. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the text composable in Android and I will show you everything you wanna know about this composable. Okay, let's start by creating a box to center our text. And let's add a content alignment and make this center. If you don't know what a box is in Compose, please watch my video about the layout. I explained that in there. Now, anyways, in this box, we can add a text composable here to show a text. And as you know, in Android, we have the string resources files. And to get the value from this resource file, we can use string resource. And now we add the ID of that string. We can say R to the string. And we add the ID. For example, I'm going to create a new string called land of coding. And I'm gonna and click Alt and Enter to extract this. And here add the text. Then click on OK. Now let's say I want to repeat this 30 times. We can do that with the repeat function. And we can pass 30 in here. Now let's see that. And as you can see, this is the text repeated 30 times. But you can also notice that we don't have a space between each word and the other. And to add space, here we can say plus and we can add our space. Let's see that. And here you go. Now let's say you only want to show three lines from this text. What you can do here, let's create a new line. So we can say max lines and we pass three. Now if we have an overflow text, we can show ellipses or dots at the end of the text. To do that, we can say overflow and here we can say text overflow. We can say ellipses and now if we launch the app, you will notice that we only have three lines with ellipses at the end because we have an overflow text. As you can see, these are the ellipses and we only showed three lines. Okay, now let's actually delete this and let's say land of coding and you can apply a color, let's say magenta, and let's increase the size of our font using font size. We can pass 32 SP, and let's also add a text decoration. For example, if we wanna add an underline for our text, we can use the text decoration for that, and we can say text decoration underline. We also have line through. So now let's see the underline, and as you can see, this is how it looks like. And one of the most important properties for a text is the text align. In here, we can align our text. So if we say text align start or end, yeah, let's say end. And let me also add a modifier to take the maximum width. So this will make sure to show our text at the end of its container. So as you can see, we can change this to start or center, which is the default behavior. So let's see the start now. And let's also center. And as you can see the center, uh, one thing I just mistaken, the text align start is the default behavior for a text align. Okay, now let's delete this and let's move to something more advanced about texts. Let's say you have a single text and you wanna apply different styles on uh, some words of the text. We wanna design this text that shows on the screen right now. To do that, we can use we can use build annotated string builder let's create an instance from that and let's call build annotated string in here we can just append values like this but we can also assign style a different style for each append uh, string we use in here and to do that we can use with style in here you need to pass the style which is a span object to so span style and now you just create your style for the specific thing you want to append. So inside this style, we can say append. Let's say I want to append land. And I also want to add a space here. So as you can notice here, we have a gradient color. And to create a gradient using Jitbag Compose, we have something called a brush. Now to create an instance from this, we can use a brush. And here you have many different gradients you can use. In our case, we're gonna use the linear gradient, and this is just a list of. And now I'm gonna just copy and paste two colors. Now, since I'm using Material 3, this requires me to, and to add this annotation, so let's do that. And because we are going to reuse this style, we can extract it in a new function. And to do that, we can just select all of this, click on Refactor, Function, and here I can name it Blue Gradient Text. 
Okay, cool. Now to make this reusable, we also want to pass the text by the parameters. Let's do that. So in here, I want to pass land and we want to receive that in here. Then we want to replace this in here. Now we want another style for the second word we have, which is a gradient, as you can see in the design. Now let's copy this. Let's paste it here. Let's change the name to paint blue gradient text and we also need to change the colors now we can go to our string builder and we can append the new value here using our pink blue gradient text and we can say gradient for the text here let's actually change that to new because we want to stick to the design and finally we can call this again and we can send text now we want to create a new line so we can just say here append and we can use the escape character double times here so this will make sure to make spacing between these texts or new lines. And one more thing here, I want to also change the size. So let's do that for this one, 42 SP. And for this one, let's add 48 SP. Oh, so font size, 48 SP. And also let's change the font weight to medium here as well. I'm going to copy and paste. Finally, we can just create our text composable and we can pass the annotated string and we can add a background color of a black for our container or for the box. Now let's see that. And here you go. This is your text. You were able to apply different styles on the same text. Okay, that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and catch you in the next one.